Hello everyone, today we're going to find the limit of sine square x over x squared plus 1 as x approaches infinity. So how do we approach this problem? One way we can do this is by using the squeeze theorem. Now if you recall, the squeeze theorem is this. If f of x, if function f of x less than or equal to g of x less than or equal to h of x and uh, the limit of f of x as x approaches a is equal to the limit of h x as x approaches a equal to l. So if the limit of this and the limit of this are equal, by the squeeze theorem, the limit of this is also the same, l. And that's why this is called the squeeze theorem. Okay. So let's take a look. We know that sine x or sine square x is between 0 and 1. So here we have the numerator. Now, if we divide all three sides by the denominator, which is uh, x squared plus 1, x squared plus 1, and x squared plus 1. So this, this is 0. So the limit of this, the limit of 0 over x squared plus 1 as x approaches infinity, this is equal to 0. So we've done that part right here. Now let's see. The limit of 1 over x squared plus 1 as x approaches infinity, so this is getting really, really large. So 1 over this large number, right, the limit of that is equal to 0. So the limit of this and the limit of this are equal as x approaches infinity. So by the squeeze theorem, the limit of the one in the middle here, sine square x over x squared plus 1, as x approaches infinity, is also equal to 0. And that's what we're trying to find the limit of. I hope you find this video helpful. Have a good day, everybody. Bye-bye.